Guys. It is currently snowstorming. Canada. December 1st. I opened little box one today. This is our Nespresso calendar. Today I had a Melozio coffee. It was delicious. Not my absolute favorite of them all, but it was good. I also already dug into this one, of course, and got my little Reese chocolate out of there. I don't think I've actually showed these little items yet, these little decorations that I have over here by our machine. But I just have this wooden tree, that's from Tree Lane Farms a while ago, you guys would have seen that last year. And then I got this, this year, it just says Mrs. Claus Classic Gingerbread Cookies. I really like it, I find it super cute. And just in here we keep some of our little Nespresso pods, wow I really need to refill this. <laughs> not much left in there. We have not put our tree up this year. I don't know. We just like haven't been feeling as festive, but we do have some presents wrapped in our Star Wars wrapping paper because that's the theme of our Christmas this year, Star Wars. <laughs> I haven't put up many decorations yet this year. I don't know. I'm just like not feeling overly Christmassy. I, today, I'm more on it. It's December 1st. I'm more feeling a little bit Christmassy. I've got my Christmas candles going over here. Got my Christmas mug out that goes with the jar that I just showed you guys. This one says Santa's Village. Uh, yeah, hey guys, what's up? It's December. It's crazy. 2020 is almost done. What a freaking year. As I said, not feeling overly Christmassy. I think it's just because I know we're not doing all of our usual Christmas stuff. My family from the States isn't coming over because they always come down on the 24th. We have like a big family Christmas party. So none of them can come. Usually I go to Windsor on the 26th every single year to see my grandparents. I don't think I've ever missed a year since I was born. Like I've never missed it. That it's like really sad to me that we can't do that this year. I haven't seen my grandparents in a very long time. And then my Oma, um, she's actually in a nursing home here in London and I haven't been able to see her and that's been very, very hard because she's not doing so well. Oh my God, what the hell? Am I okay? <laughs> what is this video? <laughs> Sorry to just start friggin tearing up five seconds into this video, I'm so sorry. I know that everybody's going through some kind of shit right now with COVID and especially when you have like older grandparents, it's so fucking hard. Like it's so hard that you can't see them. Like I'm literally not allowed in the building. So it's just very like frustrating because the last time I saw her might be the last time I ever see her. And that like kills me, <laughs> like that's so sad. And she just has to be like alone. <sighs> So my heart free and it goes out to you guys who have had to go through any sort of like deaths during COVID or just like anything, any sort of like struggle with not being able to see your family, your friends. I know it's really hard. So yeah, that's why I'm not feeling too Christmassy this year. But today I actually feel very much in the spirit. Today's probably like the most Christmassy I've felt. I think just because it's December now and it's literally snowstorming outside. I've felt like vlogging today because I want to make some more videos in December now that Black Friday's done. Black Friday was crazy, you guys. You guys scooped up the night swim stock that was left. Also, oh, what's this? Perhaps a sample of something? <laughs> I know this is like crooked. Uh, this is literally, this sample is literally just for this, like just for the embroidery. We're sneak peeking it on here because I'm sending out a sneak peek email today to the Night Swim subscribers who will get a little bit more in-depth preview of what we have coming out early February. I thought it was going to be January at first, but after talking to the supplier, they were like, mm. I don't know if we're gonna meet that deadline. Typical with manufacturing, everything always gets pushed out longer than you think. Back to Black Friday, that was wild. We had crazy sale, it was 40 to 75% off. There are still some items on the website that are on sale because they're not coming back. Things that aren't coming back that are discontinued are the Raven suit, lemon yellow is not coming back, and then we have some older styles like sand and plum. I think we have a couple pieces left in those two, and those are heavily discounted. They're 75% off. I think they're like $11 a piece. 
So we are losing money on those. I don't think people realize how expensive it is to buy and sell product, especially as a small business who isn't a fast fashion company. That is one of the reasons why prices can be a little bit high for items. Also, any sort of shipping prices that you're covering. Packaging, packaging is expensive. We are getting custom made shipping bags and actually have some samples over there. I'm not gonna show you yet though. That's too many sneak peeks. But those should be made, they're coming. They're gonna be eco-friendly. They're gonna be completely biodegradable, compostable. And then we are also replacing all of our plastic with little like Ziploc baggies that are also biodegradable, biodegradable and compostable. And that is expensive. Our fabric, our swim fabric at Night Swim is also eco-friendly. It's biodegradable in landfills. You're paying a premium for sustainable resources and eco-friendly things. And I think it's worth it because we need to save our earth, okay? We only have one. So I'm like going on about pricing and stuff. Oh yeah, I was talking about the sales and how we're not making money on a lot of those items that we're selling because of, it's just expensive. Like it's expensive. Just a little close up of the embroidery skills over here. Okay guys, um, I'm thinking about doing vlogmas. Listen. I have never, ever had the desire to do Vlogmas. I have not wanted to. <laughs> it just seems very daunting, very scary. It's December 1st. I started vlogging today randomly. I just had that random urge to vlog. Do I try it? Like, do I attempt? Vlogmas. Now, what I will say is I will not post every day. I will post every weekday, but not on the weekends. At least that's what I am thinking right now. Guys, I might do it. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I'm very undecided. It would be 17 days, so 17 days of videos, because I would go from today, December 1st, until the 23rd, because I'm not going to do Christmas Eve and Christmas. Do I try this? I'm nervous, but I'm kind of excited. Like I kind of feel like just throwing myself into YouTube for the next month. We'll see. We'll see. I'm not making any promises. I started sweating. That's why I'm wearing this shirt. Those sweaters are nice and cozy and warm. Let me just turn off my smooth jazz Christmas playlist. Okay guys, we're doing Vlogmas. <laughs> After further deliberation and the last three hours of my time, I have now created an entire Google Doc based on Vlogmas. I even made a whole calendar. I feel like there's no turning back. Like now I'm in too deep and I'm like getting excited and I really wanna make all these videos. I need to get this video up today. I usually never film a video and post a video in the same day, so. This will be fun. I am scared. We'll be hanging out a lot for this next month. This weekend, I got three packages in the mail from three different jewelry places. And I figured I would show you guys some of the items because with Christmas coming up, jewelry is a fantastic gift to give people, boys, girls, whoever. First, we'll start with kind of the cheaper brand. This is my go-to brand for like less expensive, but still a really good quality jewelry. The company's called Howell Jewelers. I'm actually wearing three of the pieces right now. I told her that I was switching to more silver jewelry just to match my, what are these called? cartilage piercings and I just I was feeling silver. I'm not really leaning towards gold. Silver just calls to me. I mentioned that to her and she's like, let me send you some. So these cute little hoops, I have those three. These three are all from Howl. They don't fall out. They don't bother me at night. This one has a little moon on the bottom and the other side has a little star. They're so cute. So definitely check those out. She sent me a couple other items in here, but they're mostly just very plain silver jewelry items, like exactly what I was looking for. So I have like, these are like little studs. I have these other hoops in there. Now the other two brands 
are a little bit pricier, but very worth it. So the first is Adinas. Adinas is so freaking sweet. They reached out and they were like, hey, we're sending out little Christmas gifts. Like, can you confirm your address? And they sent me the most beautiful necklace. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen it on my story already, but they sent me this choker with a cute little G and it's like these jewels. It feels so expensive, like such good quality. And you can get these custom pieces from Adinas. You just have to go on their website. You can order like any sort of letters that you want. Like, I just love the little G. I love that they did a small G instead of a big G. It's just the freaking most beautiful thing I've ever seen. I know it's gold, but it is still silver because of the little like gems on it. Finally, I got some stuff from Guilty. Now, what I really like about this brand is they do upcycling. So if you have a gal in your family or boy who likes designer items, designer name brands, stuff like that, Guilty is gonna be your go-to because they upcycle designer pieces. So what do we have in this one? Like, these are so, so, we, I am so excited about these. Oh my God. So these are, some upcycled Dior Huggies in silver. This is the most me earring. Highly, highly recommend checking out Guilty if you wanna get someone a designer piece that isn't as expensive. Like things like this are maybe like between 100 and 300, $400 in that range, which is so much more affordable than spending like $2,000 on a Dior handbag. You can just get them earrings for a couple hundred dollars where they still get that hit of designer, but it's not like breaking your bank. Okay, I have another piece from Guilty to show you guys, just to show you what else they have. This is a Chanel necklace in silver. If you don't want to spend friggin' $5,000 on a Chanel handbag, get a Chanel little necklace. So these, this is authentic. Like this is an actual Chanel piece. It's just they upcycle it. So a lot of the times these pieces will be like from buttons. So they'll take like a Chanel button on like a jacket. And instead of you buying the whole jacket, you're just buying that button. Those are, these are actually my top three jewelry brands too. Hey guys. So I was just sitting here editing away on my Vlogmas day one video. This sounds so weird. I can't believe I'm even doing Vlogmas. I'm actually crazy. I'm gonna regret this halfway through, but we're trying. So I was sitting here editing my video and I realized, oh snap, it's getting later and later in the day. And I don't have a workout yet to do tonight because I have not made my December workout schedule yet. So I've been trying for the past couple months to make a new workout schedule every month and then stick to those workouts for the entire month. Where the heck? Okay, there, there's my workout tab. I have so many tabs open. So I make my workouts on Google Sheets. I think I've talked about this before, like how I kind of plan my workouts out. I just make a Google Sheet. I throw my workouts in there. And then when I'm at the gym, I can easily pull up the Google Sheets app, look at what workouts I'm doing. Firstly, I am gonna be training five days a week. So five days. Then I'm gonna write all of the dates just so I can plan what I'm doing each day. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Now I know I am going to be resting on Sunday. I always rest on Sundays. And my boyfriend and I have decided that we are going to rest on Fridays as well. Because on Saturdays, we do a really, really big leg day with our friend Greg. He is actually a trainer and he is amazing. I have really, really enjoyed our huge Saturday leg days. Yesterday was Monday and I did back and that was fine. So I'm just going to leave back on Mondays as is. Tuesday, which is today, I actually want to do some glute isolation. So with our big leg days on Saturday, it's all over leg focus. We do quads, hamstrings, glutes, calves as well. So it's just a full leg day. Whereas me personally, I like to focus on my cheeks a lot. I'm gonna add in just a glute isolation day on Tuesday where I try to mostly focus just on glutes. Wednesday, I am going to do shoulders. 
and probably some triceps. Thursday, I think I might do back again. I'm really trying to grow my back because it's very small. <laughs> and I just find that I'm very hunched over, my posture's not good, and I think training back, making my back stronger, more pronounced, is going to just make it look better and help my posture a little bit. So I think I'm gonna do back twice a week. This is gonna be my December breakdown. If you guys wanna do it along with me, go for it. We have Monday is back and biceps. Tuesday is glute isolation. Wednesday is shoulders. Thursday is, oh, shoulders and triceps. Thursday is back. Friday's a rest day. Saturday's big leg day. Sunday is rest day again. It's not like my workouts change a ton. It's just like different variations of movements just so I don't get super bored, but you wanna be doing the same movements over and over and over so you can actually get better at them. If you're changing your workouts too much or constantly just changing them, not doing the same exercises, not recording your weights, not getting stronger or anything, you are hindering your own progress. Make sure you're doing the same exercises week to week, especially those like big lifts, like squats, deadlifts, lunges, for example, on leg day. Shoulders, you wanna do some sort of press, some sort of lateral raise, some sort of rear delt exercise. There's just those like standards that you're sticking to each week. Follow me on Instagram if you wanna see all these workouts. I will probably be posting them on there throughout the month. Yeah. I think I'm gonna wrap up this first vlogmas video here. I hope you guys liked it. I hope that was okay. I don't know if I'm doing this right, but it's fine. There is no right way to do vlogmas or make YouTube videos. You just gotta do whatever you wanna do, you know? Thank you guys for joining me. And I will see you tomorrow. Wow, I've never said that before. Bye guys.